So, Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com. I have the ex executive producer of Melody Festival in 2019, Christer Björmang, next to me. He was also in Eurovision representing Sweden a few years ago. Oh. How does it feel? Uh, approaching a new edition of Melody Festival and final now. Um, well, it's always an adventure. You never know before the season starts how it's going to work. You, you have a feeling about what you have, you know, uh, this bouquet of, of songs and artists. And you don't know how it's going to be received. But this year it's been really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and people have uh, reacted strongly and engaged uh, heavily in voting. And they have selected a fantastic group of people and songs mm -hmm. for this final. Um, we're very proud of it. It's, uh, it. The standard is very high uh, and the funny thing is that it's very, very tight. At least for us who are in the bubble. We, we cannot separate one from the other when it comes to favorites and stuff. It might be easier from the outside, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we don't have a clue who's going to win. Now, not that you have done Melody Festival for so many years personally, what do you think is the strength of this competition for the Swedish audience that, to feel really engaged with it? I think that we keep developing it, uh, that we keep uh, chasing songs that are relevant to the audience on the outside because it's more than a TV show. This is music that could actually affect people in their, in their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you take a look at the, the, the charts uh, at the moment, they, they totally dominate the charts. And, and on radio, you can't turn it on without hearing a song from our final, which is fantastic. So, so far, and for a long time now, we've managed to f actually attract artists and songs that are that good. And I think that also uh, gives us credibility to our audience. And I think that's why they are engaged and why they really, they are with us all the time. Okay. Now that you have been proven as a successful country in Eurovision Song Contest for the last few years, and Sweden is one of the countries who has, has achieved many great results for the last few years, what would be your advice to the rest of the countries and delegations to approach such a national final or national selection as this, um, you know, to be as successful as Sweden is? Well, I think, I mean, everything that you do in your life, if you do it with passion, you will be successful okay. one way or another. Okay. And it takes... It takes time to build it up. Uh, it didn't happen overnight, the success. It, and we had some years when we were struggling. We didn't really know what we were doing wrong when it came to choosing the winner. And you just have to keep, you know, believe in it. You have to dig. You have to try to get better and find solutions. And for us, one of the answers was to actually bring in uh, an international jury. Uh, to me, that is one of the, that's a turning point for us. And since we did that in 2011, we have an, a remarkable average of 4.9 yeah. in positions, which is, I mean, that's unheard of since Ireland in the 90s yeah. or, or UK in the 70s. The seventh is approaching, actually. Well, we're, we're, we're working on it hard. <laughs> I wanted to ask as well about the, the big five chances at the competition, because it has been uh, seen that throughout the past few years, countries like my country, Spain or the UK doesn't have much success in, in now talking about Spain, what do you think is the, um, or the UK maybe, the, the, the mistake in our, in our song selection or in our process or in our competition? Okay, I, I don't even want to say it's a mistake because I don't think it's, that's the answer. I think the answer to your question is that first of all I think that all countries that participate in the semi-finals have a bigger chance of winning period. Uh, we've seen it happen so many times that someone who has not been mentioned beforehand, all of a sudden they go in, they do a fantastic semi-final and they start, you know, in the odds, they start climbing yeah, and rising and rising. And it, it creates a buzz around the song, around the artist. They are filled with self-confidence and they do come back. And I mean, it happened with Conchita. Yeah. You know, nobody talked about Conchita before mm. the semi-final. Mm. Everybody was like, can he sing? Is he good enough? How is this going to work? And after, everybody knew, wow, look at that. Yeah. And it, that thing, that, uh, oh, that build-up is fantastic. And for your countries never ever to have that chance, it's such a pity. Yeah, it is. You know, it, it really is. And, and so what if you miss a final once in a while? It's I like, know. 
let, let it happen. It's happened to us. We survived. It's okay. You know, and, and it actually usually brings something good afterwards because we got to change our rules, we changed the way we, the perception of it, we changed how we chose the songs, and it all came out good, yeah. you know. And uh, last question, it's, I don't want it to be like that big, but I wanted to ask you about Melody Festival in 2019 because you did a lot of changes yeah. uh, when it comes to the voting, uh, maybe because uh, the result that Benjamin from the televote in, 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 in Lisbon that he didn't get so high score in the televote. Was it all partly because of it? And then no, no not at all. Actually, uh, th this goes back to uh, a tabloid truth that has emerged okay. during the last three years. Okay. That they always said, and people started saying, it's only the kids that decide anyway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we knew for sure that everybody that voted voted the same way, even if they were old or young. In Nine out of ten times, everybody votes the same way. Mm -hmm. They like the mm -hmm. same music, the same artists. Mm -hmm. So we needed to do something to actually counterproof this mm -hmm. and get rid of that false truth. So uh, that's why we did it. And, and now, this time, when we present the numbers, everybody can see that all these age groups, yes, there are variations, but they are very small. And... and uh, I think it's proved to be very, very good. And it once was. everybody reads it, it's going to be fine. Definitely. But there is another. Boy, again, I forgot the question now. About the changes. Uh, uh, yes. If it was partly because of Benjamin's result no. or what happened. Okay, yes. No. So that's the answer why we did it. Regarding Benjamin, I'm not that surprised that it really missed the target on the viewers. It was an extremely slick, you know, produced, like video-like act he didn't you know sell the song that you usually do in the Eurovision yeah. most people in the Eurovision they scream loud yeah, they, you know and they really want the attention he was just doing his thing he looked mm -hmm. once in a while and did his thing and that it's quite easy when you do something slick like that that yeah. it just goes over the head on a Saturday night with 26 songs so I'm, I'm not that surprised it worked afterwards. They found a song after the show, yes. and it worked very well. So uh, it was super cool. And seven is a good position. It is top ten. Yeah. Yep. Uh, will we see you at Eurovision 2019? Uh, in, in, Can has in, approached you to. Or? In Tel Aviv, yeah. you mean? We'll see. Okay, that's about to come then. Let's <laughs> see. Any any future arrangements for Melody Festival? Are you planning to develop something else, or do you have something in mind? Even though it has not been developed yet. No, we, usually that happens. That happens after. Uh, what we do is we uh, early summer we sit down and we go through the year mm -hmm. and we we check the results of the songs. How did they do commercially? How was everything? You know, we will go through the app, the voting. Uh, the hosts, everything. And then from that, we start looking at next year and see, okay, what can we do better? What, what do we do? Uh, what's going to be fun for the audience and so on? So it's, it's a little bit premature, and we, we actually try not to think about it too much because we're still in this. Thank you very much, Chris, sir. It was a pleasure for me. I will do thousands of questions more because I, you know, this is such a big entertainment. Meet again. Yeah, for sure. And then good luck in, 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 in Tel Aviv and with yeah, the show and, in the future. And everything. good luck to Spain. We hope so. Yeah. We hope everything comes out to be good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very Thanks. much.